It all started with a vision board and a dream. And that's how I ended up here at Duane Park. Hi, I'm Vera Valentina, and my burlesque life is kind of crazy. It is Monday, February 21st, and we are T-minus three days to our first performance at Duane Park in New York City. Woo -hoo -hoo! Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. Yes, people, you heard it here first. Your girl is performing at Duane Park. It was on my vision board last year. It was on my vision board, my mini vision board for this month, trying to get more bookings in NYC, specifically Duane Park, and it manifested and it's happening on Wednesday. Originally, I thought it was gonna be happening in March or April, but it turned out to be Wednesday. So we are doing like Full overhaul show prep. Uh, it's gonna get crazy. It might get a little dangerous. I love in the face of danger. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna do what we have to do. We're doing the Bowery Sugar Show, which is a part of their Black History Month celebration, which I'm really excited about. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be performing with some of the best Black burlesque performers in New York City, and I'm just, I'm just. I'm just, obviously we're in the gym early this morning, um, specifically so that we can use the studio. This is one of the studios in the gym where I belong. There's two of them, which I absolutely love. So I'm always in here stretching, working, you know, since I've been on my save my knees journey, um, this is where we've been. So actually, I went to Dwayne Park yesterday um, to for the first time, just to like see it and, you know, do the thing. Um, so I'll insert the clips of me uh, at Duane Park, basically my research um, from yesterday here. So we were invited by the talent manager of Duane Park to come by and just see the space, considering that I'd never been there before. So we came by on a Sunday for brunch and it was just so cool to finally walk into this historic, burlesque, legendary space. I mean, look who's on the wall here. We've got Raquel Reed of all people, and then Media Noche, who is absolutely fantastic, gave me some great advice over these past couple of months. And then I got to sit down and just enjoy and see exactly what an amazing show this is. That's the entrance to the dressing room up top. That's where all the dancers come out. Brunch itself was top tier. I got the salmon watercress salad. My fiance got the steak and eggs, and then the show started. Amazing Gal Friday also performed on this day, but I was so into her performance while I was recording, I covered up my camera, I'm so dumb. But after the show, Gal Friday and Jen Minsky came down after I took this clip to talk to me about my performance and everything. They were so excited for me, it was so cool. Um, so I'm gonna warm up and then I'm gonna get started. My phone, camera, my phone is gonna die. Um, I've only got 5%, I know. Um, so I might not get this whole section, but just know that I'm gonna be stretching and then going through some improv um, so that I don't look crazy on stage on Wednesday. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. So I don't know if I mentioned this already, but at this point I am practicing without knowing what I'm actually going to be dancing to on Wednesday. Um, most of the time at Duane Park, apparently you don't find out what music you're dancing to until right before the show, maybe a day before. It's mostly because every show you're working with a different live band and a different host and each different live band and different host has a different repertoire of songs. So you find out the night before what they have and then you choose and make whatever choreography that you have work for the songs that they've given you. They're mostly burlesque standards, so I should be okay. Meanwhile, at the palace of King Poseidon, ruler of the seven seas, so when I said costume overhaul, I meant costume overhaul. I'm taking my black costume and I'm trying to make it as sparkly as possible. As my friend Jonah, the chocolate showboy would say, sparkle up in under a week. So I'm taking off a lot of the old stones, a lot of the gl old glue pieces and replacing them with fresh stones. I have this dress that I made probably like a year ago. Yeah, almost a year ago now for a La Maison Rose show. And it has these fabulous closet rhinestones on the top. And I'm never gonna wear this dress again. So I decided to just pull 
the clear closet rhinestones off of this dress and put them onto my red bottom showgirl costume. Just embellish my corset and my bra a little bit more because when in doubt, sparkle it out. I and I'll be honest, y'all, I was having my doubts. Like I said, I'm practicing without knowing exactly what song I was going to be dancing to. I've only been to the venue one time. I was kind of psyching myself out. Uh, prepare for a couple meltdowns later on in this video. Actually, there's a meltdown coming right about now. Hello, day two of getting ready for Dwayne Park. Had a mild breakdown. I stabbed myself with my um, tweezers. Um, while trying to remove stones from my black costume. It hurt really bad. I freaked out a little bit, cried a little bit, not because I hurt myself, but mostly because I was freaking out about tomorrow, but we're calm, we're cool now. We've had some lunch. We're back to rhinestoning. We're getting everything together. Finally got my music. I know exactly what I'm dancing to now. It's gonna be bumps and grinds, it's gonna be fun. I look a hot mess, but we have other concerns right now. We're getting ready to perform in New York. So, I wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing right now because <sighs> costuming is janky. So I made this bra in 2017 and since then it's gotten some upgrades, but um, there's like glue stuff in between all of these stones on this bra. So I'm trying to fix that with um, instant dry nail polish and it's kind of working. Like I redid this whole section so it doesn't look as gluey from far away. Um, and then I tried to cover up my, uh, what's it called, the snap so far. <laughs> Well, an hour and a half drive later from Princeton to New York and three full garages later, we finally made it to the show. There was a lot going on backstage, so I didn't do much filming except for like right before I started to perform and right afterwards. Honestly, I was just wholly blown away that I was even there. You can see it on my face. This is me upstairs backstage right after I finished performing and as you can see I am wholly overwhelmed face. It's done. It's done. It's done. We did it. It's over. She did it. 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 I'm so sorry. Y'all see who's on this camera right now. Just so y'all know what's going on my vlog. She did it. She did it. my fucking vlog right now. She did it. He's fucking legend. I'm Gigi Holiday, number 10 burlesque performer in the world. There it is, the shit, y'all. There is amazing. I gotta come back to the party. I'll you, I yeah. Overall, my first time performing at Duane Park in New York City was everything that I thought it would be and more. I am more than grateful for the team at Duane Park for even having me. Now, we play the waiting game. Will they invite me to come back? Subscribe to my channel and find out. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.